What's up everyone? I am Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I am so excited to tell you that the new 4Runner TRD Sport is here. So TRD Sport is here. The Venture Edition and the Nightshade Edition, they're going to be discontinued for 2022. TRD Sport, what does that mean? We know it's available in something like a Tundra. It's available in a Tacoma. Now it's got its own trim level, going to be setting kind of as a complement between the TRD Off-Road, Off-Road Premium, and the TRD Pro. But here's the catch. TRD Sport is not going to have a Sport and then TRD Sport Premium. It's just going to be TRD Sport. This is going to be based on the SR5 level with some caveats. In other words, it's not a hybrid, but it's going to have hybrid parts of other trim levels. For example, this SR5 that's now the TRD Sport, okay, it's going to have soft tech seating, black soft tech seating with gray accent stitching. And you'll see that all the way throughout the whole cabin. It's gonna be available in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. So in a way by having that soft techs, that's what you see on a premium for 2020 and 2021, those type of things. Now it's going to be swapping out those 17 inch SR5 wheels for 20 inch accented wheels when I say accented wheels, I mean dark gray accents. So we've got the limited model, which is going to have the 20 inch chrome wheels. And before, of course, we had the gloss black nightshade wheels. Not anymore, mister. We have 20 inch dark gray alloy wheels. They're really cool looking. And yes, before anyone addresses the elephant in the room, my backdrop here, I use backdrops. It's not a real modern futuristic awesome studio that I'm in. It's just a backdrop. I know you all know that, but I'm addressing the elephant in the room. Now let's talk about the suspension. This is going to have the cross-linked X Reyes suspension. And what does that mean? That offers what you see in the Limited, a smooth ride on road. And then off-road, it absorbs a lot of impact. So when you go on bumpy roads, on the road or trails, it helps to mitigate those and lessen them so that you get a smooth ride on the road and off the road. But it's more, I would say, for on-road type driving. Now, this is available in two-wheel drive with automatic limited slip differential to help you get out of things like mud or snow or sand. And then it's got a part-time four-wheel drive. Now, let's take a look at some of these pictures of exterior styling that Toyota provided us in their press release today. We're going to have things like color keyed accents on the grill, on the rocker panels and body molding. Then we'll also see TRD Sport is going to be having a hood scoop. Of course it's gonna have it, it's a TRD Sport, right? Why would it not have the hood scoop? What's the deal with that? See, to me the grill is kind of cool because it's got accents sort of like a, looks like a honeycomb type grill along with horizontal slats and of course, it's still going to have a tall profile. It's going to have, for two-wheel drive, a 9.0-inch ground clearance and then 9.6-inch ground clearance for four-wheel drive. Toyota didn't really announce this yet as far as exterior color, so I'm sure there are going to be several different options, probably same options that you would see on something like the TRD Off-Road, that kind of a thing. I almost wonder if Lunar Rock is going to slip into something like TRD Off-Road, and TRD Sport, maybe SR5, we don't know that yet. Uh, but what we do know as far as color is it's going to have black roof rails up top, raising the roof rails, raise the roof rails. Some other things to look out for, you're gonna notice a leather wrapped steering wheel. You're also gonna notice the soft tech seats with TRD headrests, and also the mats are gonna be special TRD Sport type mats. You'll also see on these seats, heated front seats as well. Now, some staples, we'll call it, of Forerunner. It's going to have 8-inch multimedia touchscreen. You'll be able to play your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. It comes with a three-month trial of Sirius XM. It's going to have rear air vents. I don't know yet about third-row seating. That was not mentioned. I assume that you'll be able to get a sliding rear cargo deck or an empty back compartment, but I don't know about those seats for third row. The powertrain for 2022 4Runner is going to remain intact, meaning it's got a 4.0 liter 
V6 engine, and that's matched with a five-speed automatic transmission, although you can pop it into sequential shift if you want to get more control, like going up a steep hill or going down a steep hill or maybe pulling a boat out of a slippery boat launch, that kind of a thing, you might want to choose to do that. Also, it's got a 500 pound tongue weight and a 5,000 pound tow capacity, just like the rest of the Forerunners do. Let's talk about a change that's going to come to all 2022 Forerunners. This is kind of cool. It's not huge, it's small, but it's a bright idea. What I mean by that is all Forerunner grades are going to have LED headlights, but part of that, they're gonna have LED low beams and they're all gonna have LED high beams as well, so no more yellow. It also has on TRD Sport LED fog lights, but on every trim level of Forerunner, it's gonna have those LED fog lights. And that's building on the idea of what Toyota did for 2021, making LED fog lights and LED low beams at least standard on all trim levels. Forerunner TRD Sport, along with all trim levels, it's gonna have Toyota Safety Sense P on it, which means pedestrian. So it has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, and lane departure alert. Also, Forerunner, I always say this, it's sort of like the last true full SUV left on the planet because of that body on frame design, which means the body and the frame are bolted securely together so that they can handle the off-roading adventures that you might choose to go on. It can handle bumps and grooves and things like that and uneven pavement and mountain trails and river passes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's exciting to talk about. Forerunner, it's amazing. So here's the question, which Forerunner's for you? Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments. What do you think of TRD Sport? From the pictures I showed you, does this seem like something you'd be interested in? Or maybe you're somebody who's gonna stick with the SR5. Or are you Forerunner Off-Road? Or Off-Road Premium? Or TRD Pro? Oh, so many choices, right? Holla, this is gonna be great. Are you a Forerunner Trail person? Do you like that extra storage in the back with that cooler? Maybe that's for you. Anyway, please follow Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. Just hit subscribe because I'm going to let you in on all the running updates, all the news, all the developing stories. We've got a big press conference by Toyota tomorrow. I'm sure they'll talk about 4Runner TRD Sport. Well, at least I think so. But they're also going to be talking about a new model that has not come to the U.S. yet. That's exciting. We're also gonna talk about a redesign and hopefully some more news. I'm hoping that we'll hear something about either Tacoma or Tundra or both. What are you most excited about hearing? Tell me about your Forerunner preferences. Thanks everyone so much and I will see you next time. Peace out, namaste.